Alright guys, and welcome back to more Tales of Hearts R. We are here within the Savior System Gardania, basically near the core of Gardania. And we just got done completing the left side puzzle of this dungeon to pretty much burn off a web to get to the center of the core and also to fight the worm that's standing in our way to get to the core. But right now what we need to do is now do the right side of the core. And we're going to rock it hardcore because we're core. Who likes to... Do hardcore parkour. Okay, maybe I said too much, but right now we gotta get through this random encounter. And I was thinking of actually backtracking and getting some more sacrosanct bottles, which I think I'm going to do, to be honest. So, what I'm going to do after this fight, I'm going to off camera backtrack, buy sacrosanct bottles, buy some more healing equipment, and then we'll be back here. So, you guys won't see that backtracking, but I'm just telling you right now. But anyway, back to the fight and let's rip some shit up. Oh, yeah. oh man, that is so awesome, dude. And I think, you know what? This move right here is just so god like Sword of Purity. So, after Sword of Purity, I should probably do. No, no. After Aerial Exorcism, I should do Sword of Purity because it has so much range, dude. It's insane. So, yeah, let's do that. Sword of Purity should be that. And then after that. Stairways to heaven. And then, you know what? Let's do another air move. Maybe Holy Lancer is what I got rid of? Alright, let's try it. Oh, you, you wanna sock me? Oh, it reached too! It reached. It's just, I need to zoom in. So you know what? I know the best move to actually get some uh, ground in, or ground with, so or to make ground with, so I can get closer to him. So instead of stairway to heaven, stairway to heaven should actually be the last one. Stairway to heaven, and then I should do. Heaven's blade? No, 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 no. I should actually do. Where is it? Terrific Bolt, that's what it is. Terrific Bolt, I should actually change that right here to... You know what? Doing the same thing in a combo shouldn't even be that bad. It should actually be better to have two of the same ones. Alright, here we go. This dude is heavy. This dude is a heavy set, so... Comboing this guy is gonna be, like... Really bad. We gotta try it with somebody who floats in the air. Right, Cozen? Alright, we need to get more ingredients too. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds as I backtrack to the older area. So, as I was going back to stock up on healing items and ingredients, and synchrosect bottles and I actually also bought a couple of seal wards so we won't get stoned you know what I'm saying not seal wards but stone wards so we don't get stoned all the time so here we are I decided to rest at the end to get my TP and HP recovered and this skit started playing once I rested at the end I know that our world's in great peril but I still can't help but be memorized by this sea of shimmering stars Look, a shooting star! Core over there, another one! You know what they say, make a wish on a shooting star and it'll come true! What a load of bull. Despite the lack of evidence, this is a common or again, can belief. One must wish three times before the star disappears. Despite the lack of evidence, you must be a blast at parties, Kunzai. <laughs> Not that I actually believe it's true myself, mind you. But when we can see this many stars, what's the harm in trying? Fine by me. Let's give it a shot. No different than praying, really. Wish all, wish all you want. Those stars ain't gonna give you nothing. But wouldn't it be wonderful if they did? You never know until you try, Hisui. A wish. They're a shooting star. <gasps> I wish I was a millionaire. I wish I was a millionaire. I wish I was a millionaire. <laughs> that was a really long one. So what did you wish for, Kohaku? I can't tell you that. You totally wish for Kor. But you're, uh, but you're happy about that, huh, Core? What, did she really? They say you wish for Lithia, obviously, and Casadoni wish for Empress Riba. Am I right or am I right? 
My feelings toward the emperors are not to be subject of mockery. You got a problem with that? Not really. So what did you wish for, Beryl? I... She probably asked the stars to give her a better personality. Ooh! No, she probably asked in the picture. And, oh! Or maybe to let her grow to the size of a real person. Damn! No, you're the one being mean. Damn! Everyone's bond strengthened a lot. Hey, man, that was good because everybody bonds strength and I might be able to go back and get a dual mystic art with somebody. I just need to look at their stats. Nope. It wasn't by enough. It wasn't enough to get a dual mystic art with anybody. And that's still six. That's still six. Unless Kohaku and Barrel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's it. I guess I can try to do a mystic, a dual mystic art the next time uh, I, I can do it. The next time I have the chance to do a dual mystic art, I, I guess I'll try to. And speaking of dual mystic arts, I need to have one of those sisters, those one of those guys. This is going to be Hitsui. The bond between Hitsui and Kohaku enables the use of dual mystic arts, so I need him to be able to do it. Hmm. TP saver to... Alright, I think everything's good. I think we're ready to go back into the final dungeon. And what I'll do is actually speed it up to the point where we were pretty much at last time. So, I'll see you guys in a few seconds as I return to where we were at last time. Alright guys, so we are back where we were previously. But now we're on the right side, and we're going to tackle the right side puzzle. And what we want to do is get this chest. Ooh, red Camille. Camellia meal. Whatever you want to call it. So now that we flipped the uh, the wings to the other side, we can finally get to the right side over here. And we want to work back like this. Like so. Now we can go over there. To the right side. Yay! Clap it up, everybody. Yay! Yay! We gon' do this today. We gon' beat the games. I can't hear you. Oh, what's that? A blue box? What could this be? There's some kind of plate over there. I'll try the sorcerer's ring. Nothing happens. Try a different type of willpower. Okay, the blue one. It unlock the box. It's just like the one at the hot springs. Oh, a chest. That goes down. A oh, barrel! <laughs> barrel! <laughs> what happened? How do I get back up? <laughs> Looks like we can go that way now. This may be the trickiest puzzle we've seen so far, but we get we gotta figure out if we're or we we have to figure it out if we're going to stop Creed. Oh my god, I can't read. I'm still down here! Sorry bro, hold on, I'll bring you back up. It worked a moment ago, why isn't it working now? Maybe it's broken. Then how am I gonna get out of here? Try a different wheel art. Look, this wasn't here before. Try shooting it and see what happens. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Kobe. He gave it a shot like Kobe and he brought it back up. And she was standing on like the worst place possible. At least she didn't get squished. For a moment, I thought you were going to leave me there forever. So that's how it works. It won't be fun, but it looks like we got to forge ahead through trial and error. Oh, no. Trial and error. That doesn't even sound like it's trial and error, though. Miracle gel. Um, I actually got into a fight on the way here. So I need to use these two again. Voila. Um, let's shoot this again. Alright, so now we have access to that. We don't have access to that. But what's in the middle over there, I wonder? I think we have to get over there to, to do something, but we'll, fi we'll find out soon. Prism Protector. Ethereal armor that radiates a holy glow in all the colors of the rainbow. Ethereal armor. Ethereal, huh? You can't equip it? I guess Core could. 
If poor Kate, then I guess the girl could. If the girl can't, maybe he can. Prison protector. Nice. It's stuff. So what we gonna do? Uh, what I gotta do? Let's pop another Sanko Sink bottle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying, like, screw those them ridiculous random encounters. You know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna do after this, I can't even skip this, can I? Oh, I can! Nice! You can skip the event! Nice! I'm glad I decided to try it. But what is this? I'm thinking later in this puzzle, we pop up these other, uh... We gotta find a way to pop these up. So we gotta find a way to get that, um... That triangle in the ground. To pop up. I guess we hit them all with the blue one. Oh. That's interesting. I can't get this one to pop up. Holy. How in the world? Like, I did that. I'm gonna try this one. Now I'm gonna try this one. None of that works. Alright, was there another way I didn't see before? Yeah, there's another path I didn't even see. Damn it! And then we would get into a random encounter. Alright, you know what to do. Rock Cozen! Damn! Oh my god, this dude is so small! Look at that! I, I couldn't even hit him! <laughs> that was so bad! Oh, you thought it was a rap? Move it or lose it, scum! Chocolate farm dupe! Alright, now what's this way? After, after we pop up a, a synchro sync bottle. Holy cow. So I guess we use a fire one, right? Yep. So that lowers the red one over there. So we need to go get that chest first of all. Alright, so we need to pop up a green one apparently. So before we hit that one, that's gonna raise everything back to where it was. We need to hit this. Amethyst, nice. Boost dark resistance by two. Why do I have a feeling that's gonna come in handy? Like for like dark bosses and whatnot. Oh. We can hit this green one. We never Alright, and if we hit this one. I'm gonna raise the other one back up. Yeah, we can't get the chest, but that's fine. It's gonna close down, that's fine. But we get access to over there. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Alright, now we can make we can actually advance up here now. Finally. Let's get the chest first. Every time we see a chest, we want to try to get that before we do any of the puzzle stuff. So nine times out of ten, they want you to get the chest before you move on and do anything else. Let's throw another sacro sync bottle on. Let's keep speeding through this as fast as we can. Well not maybe as fast as we can, but as seamless as we can. So it looks like I'm going to have to raise a fire one. So I need to hit that uh, switch over there. So I can't hit that one? What's the closest one I can hit? Oh, I have to hit this blue one over here, I bet. I have to hit- no, if I do that, I can't get over here. Okay. Okay. What the hell? Maybe I didn't see something down here. Yeah, this one. Here we go. So we got access to the fire one, access to the other blue one. So we need to we need to raise the fire one. We need to hit the fire one, definitely. We have to. What? Do we have the synchro save well, But before I hit any of those, what's the point of hitting this one over here? Oh, I see. Because once we hit that, we're not gonna have access to that. What's the point of hitting this blue one though? I know we gotta raise this. Or we gotta raise this one up. I know for, for a fact. We got access to that green, so we have to go uh, lift the green one. 
I need to lift this one up right now. Because once we get the green, this one is going to close. So we have to do the green second. Alright, so there's like three areas we could have... Uh, right here, and there's another area. Golden Hell. Good stuff. We'll probably give that to our guy. Damn. Gaul could use that, right? No. He can use that. The Crystal Helm. Getting all this great ass equipment near the end of the game. Oh, look at this. You step on there, but doing that would mess up something. I think we should hit the green one first. Alright, let's get past this fight. And of course, what I'm gonna do to rack up hits, this is what I'm gonna do. What the hell is that thing? Nice. Damn, Kohaku and Calcedonia's bond is pretty high. Alright, let's hit this one first. I'm gonna be extra salty if I do it wrong. I'm pretty sure it's the green one first. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Now nah, it's the blue one. We just can't get back. What is that? It's basically doing the puzzle in reverse. Alright, whatever. We good. We good. We good to go. Goodness gracious. What up with, uh, with all these tough looking ass dudes? Now, who's weak against? Oh yeah, you're weak against light. Mm. <laughs> like stop that shit. <laughs> uh, you ain't ready for this. Damn, they hurt my bro over there. Nope. Right, Colson. Damn, they beat my ass. Uh-uh, I got out of there. Nope. Come on. No, nah, where you going? Damn, we really needed that. Damn, dude. Right, Jiggy? For parfait would be nice right about now. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. No, I'm not talking about Calcedony. I just said, Holy cow. <laughs> Literally. It's tough. So, now what we want to do. Finally burn this off and fight this dude! Hell yeah! We did it! Da 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 About the final boss Looks like the final boss It can't be the final boss Cause he's just a giant worm He's just a giant worm He's just a giant worm So what we wanna do is I'm thinking about putting Inez in Simply because, um, she has a great ability to be able to pretty much, yeah, she has her maxed out luck too. Like, her Soma has the ability to half the enemy's physical defense. Like, do you know how ridiculous that sounds? So I'm actually going to put her in. I'm going to replace her with Chalcedony, that's fine. And what I'm going to do here is actually replace Kohaku maybe. Now I'm going to keep Kohaku in. Inez and Kor are gonna pretty much be the uh, physical guys and what we want to do before we do anything um, Damn, we got a lot of SP 
Downer 2. Doubles the length of time for which enemies are knocked down. Which one's gonna give me SP, I wonder? You know what? She needs to learn more moves, so, you know, let's have her go this way. Alright, I'm down with that. Hydrate and Fleur de Gla. I don't know. Glace? Rope a dope! Rope that dope! Alright, we're gonna give him this. High yield bond, he needs that. Uh oh. He's getting a uh, ability at 17 17, huh? Oh, plus 8. SP, that's always good. That's always welcomed. And Hisui, what can we do with Hisui? More HP. Add combo. Well, let's have him start working on that uh, SP. Let's have him uh, work on that SP for a bit. Kohaku. Physical defense. Uh, I guess we could. Boom. That's interesting. Divine Saber. An advanced art that blasts the target with a barrage of holy light. Damn. That sounds dope. And then she's got a plus 20 to her physical defense. She is looking really good right now. Really good. What about his belief? Electrify 3. Alright, let's give it to him. And let's actually have him equip Electrify because he will do more damage with that equip. With his electric skills. Da 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 da. The bond between Court and Kohaku enables the use of the dual mystic art. Alright, good stuff. He also has a little bit of more uh Stone Proof. We definitely want to equip this. Stone Proof. Magic R2. So he doesn't take too much damage. I don't think he'll need Super Sub anymore, to be honest. I don't want Break Binder because Break Binder can fuck up a combo. Like some want some real stuff. Finish strong. Look at that. Look at all this. Cut to the chase, all that stuff. Anti-magic field. Yeah. All those bonds. Alright. So what we want to do, guys, is pretty much... I think we already ate. I'm going to be extra salty, but what we want to do is try to... Because Hisui can actually be very useful with what I found out. He can pretty much loop a boss for about a couple of minutes to give everybody a chance to catch their breath, to be able to deal damage to the boss while he keeps them stun locked with his flock of seagulls move. Or this one move that keeps them stunned for a while. So immediately what we'll do... No, not that. We gotta cook something. Something that restores or gives us higher defense or something. You know what? Something that prevents like status ailments, like stones or something. Because if we, if we were getting stoned by the little guys, the big dude could probably stone us. Helps you fend off physical ailments. Cream stew. Maybe we should cook that. There's got to be something that prevents it all together. Who's resistance to all physical and status elements? Hell yeah. Let's hope we don't fuck this up. You know what? Just to make sure we don't fuck up that food, I'm going to save it. And now what I'm going to do is pretty much have Kohaku cook the miso because she's really good at it. The miso heavy stew. No one is hungry. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. We got to go in here and brawl. You know, it's, it's fine. Let's fight this asshole. Alright, let's fight him. Whoa! No cutscene, we just fight him. Alright. Gardenia Warm. We're going for the big guy. Well, I think I have this defense because he's taking major damage from that. He's taking massive amounts of damage for no reason. Woo! Alright, I'm going to actually use a... Oh, he's got stone. Shit. Alright. See, this is why we needed that, dude. 
And I'm actually gonna play with a uh, cord to get rid of the little dudes really quick. Nope. You're done. Uh. Nice. She she did anti magic. All right, Inez. I need you to get back into my possession. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him, Cork, hit him. All right, I got him. What the fuck? That was weird. I hit a button on accident. I ain't mean to. But we are putting a beating of this guy's life on him. Beating of his life. It's weak against fire, but strong against earth. You see how much damage she's doing to this dude? Oh my god. This dude is under, over. Alright, now switch to core, because it looks like we have the defense. It's like very rare. I don't know how to tell if you have it or not, but he started taking 900 a hit from Inez. Like, come on. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired of this guy. It's dual damage. It's dual elemental. Because he's taking weak damage and then he's taking neutral damage. Oh my god, that did a lot. That was uh, very good. Inez, since you're like very alone right now, I need you to do a stone bottle on our healer. And I'm going to zip, 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 zip. Uh, uh, that's all you got to do. Get that chase marker to appear. Keep doing it. Get that chase marker. Uh, get your TC back. Uh, that's what I learned during the arena. Because the move I keep doing, the reason why I keep spamming that move is really good. It's really good because it brings out the chase marker really quick. It's a really good way to get move through mobs of enemies, as you've seen. Damn. You hit my girl? You hit my girl, though? Oh, yeah. The beat down. You think I'm playing with you? You think I'm playing with you? Um, you know what? The best thing is to probably for me to back off for a little bit and basically stone my girl or get her out of stone. And I'm about to go over there and wreck these worms. Like. These worms just give me an advantage because they bring out the chase market so quick and I can heal super quick. Because with there's some skills that actually allow you to uh, heal off a of chase marker. Alright, there's some skills that give you HP and TP. Alright, good stuff. Oh, you see that? You see how I healed TP and HP? So I can spam this move without punishment. <laughs> I can just keep doing it. So this move has really got like... Oh yeah, you fucked up. He got the... <laughs> Did y'all see that? He got the beating of a life! What is this guy doing? I think he's casting something. Oh, he just <laughs> recovering from that beat down. Oh, I should probably get rid of the worms. They are probably potentially the most dangerous here. I can do it in the air too, which is really good. Nope. Did we beat the bigger one before anything? Oh, here, here he comes. Nope. So basically, spam that move, get the chase marker, and once you get the chase marker, heal. <laughs> he 
he wouldn't give it to me. That's fine. Oh, somebody got him. Oh no no no! Oh! I try to counter. Get stuff. Together till the end of time. Oh my God! That move core has makes this game free. <laughs> like especially the arena is completely free because you can just build up a chase marker really quick with the right skills. And then there's specific moves, like the one you see me using over and over. That one specifically makes the chase market appear faster. Uh-oh. Yosha! Alright, so now with the warm defeated, we're gonna save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more Tales of Hearts R. I don't know how much more of this dungeon we gotta do, but we gotta do it, and I'll see you guys next time.